Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and that means corned beef for a lot of people. If corned beef isn't for you, Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council shares a few recipes that you can try to get you in the St. Patrick's Day spirit. Hi guys, happy March. I've got a couple more Irish inspired beef recipes to share, um, but n n neither one of these use corned beef. So um, if you wanna eat like the Irish, but maybe you're not a huge corned beef fan, I've got a couple recipes that you might really enjoy. The first is our Irish beef and beer stew. So this is a new checkoff recipe. Um, you make it uh, in a stock pot on your stovetop. So it's kind of a low simmering stew. It takes a while because you want to simmer it at least two hours. I used um, stew meat in my stew that I bought at the supermarket already chunked up. But the recipe on the website calls for a chuck roast which you can definitely purchase and then chunk up yourself or any kind of those roasts, those arms, shoulder roasts, um, rump roasts, they would work in this too. Any of those roasts that are made for the slow cooker that need to be tenderized um, can go in this stew because you're going to simmer in a couple hours. So also with the beef in there, I've got some good dark Irish beer, beef stock, just a little bit of tomato paste, some garlic, button mushrooms, a parsnip, a rutabaga, and an onion. So kind of some different root vegetables in here. Now, if you're not a parsnip or rutabaga fan, you could definitely do potatoes and carrots, but try a new vegetable now um, in your Irish beef stew. So more authentic, like the Irish. Then you can just top with a little green parsley to give it a little more color and a little more pizzazz. And the second recipe is uh, not a new recipe, kind of an older checkoff recipe, but one of my favorite slow cooker recipes. So um, I do it on low all day, like nine to 10 hours, so it gets nice and fork tender. I used a chuck roast in this recipe. You could use um, any other kind of roast too. The recipe on the website calls for like a bottom round or rump roast, which is leaner than the chuck, but my family just loves the flavor of the chuck roast. So what you do is you take about a third of a cup of flour, toss it with a couple packages of just a dried brown gravy mix and some salt and pepper, put that in a large bowl, and then you're going to take your vegetables. So I have onions, carrots, celery, red potatoes, get those all ready, peel them, chunk them up <clears throat> so they're ready for the bottom of your slow cooker, toss them with that flour mixture, and then take them out, put them in the slow cooker, then take your chuck roast and toss that in the flour mixture, and then put that on top of the vegetables. Now you're gonna have flour mixture still in your bowl, and then you wanna take some dark beer, or I guess any kind of beer you like, but I used Guinness, a cup of that, mix that with the flour, and then pour that over the top of your roast and your vegetables. And that flour mixture with the beer is going to make a, del a delicious, delicious gravy. It just smells so good, I want to tear into it. But really thick, beautiful brown gravy um, that you can serve over top of your, your chuck roast and your vegetables. So this is called our Irish-inspired pot roast. And then we have our Irish beef and beer stew. So all of the recipes are on our website, beeftips.com. Click right on the homepage on As Seen on TV, and you'll find these recipes, plus a lot of other great Irish-inspired recipes, perfect for March, all brought to you by Wisconsin's Beef and Dairy Farmers through the Beef Checkoff. Have a great day. Angie, thank you. we got to get her back in the studio so we can yeah, taste this stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it makes us too hungry.